No, 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 no. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to some Kerbal Space Program. My name's Stekorsa, and really quick, I'm going to grab the Achieve Mark III. And we're going to get that really quick. I'll meet you up top, I guess. All right, we've leveled out, and we're picking up speed. Our goal right now is 1,029 meters per second with less than 15 meters per second of vertical speed. We gotta get up to the 1029 first though. But we're almost there. We're almost at 900. Still need to keep leveled out though. Alright, we're over 950. One thousand. Getting close. 1,030. Alright, so now we need to get to less than 15 meters per second vertical speed. And history tells me that this is not going to be easy. Two, one second. Yes! We got it. Time to go home. Get me up there. Ah, oh, beautiful. I guess it is smoother to land over there anyways. There we go. Brakes on. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, let's get Mach 4 now. Alright, we're up to 15 kilometers. And we're picking up speed. Already up to 800 meters per second. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the 1372 without the afterburners, so we're going to wait until we start getting up to around 1100 meters per second, and then we're going to hit punch the afterburners. Hopefully that gets us the speed that we want. 1372 is going to be really hard for me to hit, but... No, we're almost to 1100 at this point. So just keep on chugging. That's all I can do. And keep my nose down. Okay, about to hit 1100. Afterburners. Okay, keep that nose down. Perfect. I just gotta get up to the 1372 now. Almost there. 1330. 1350. 1360. Nose down, nose down. 1390. Oh, man. 1400. Come on. Got it. Yes! Yes! Alright. Let's take this thing back around and go home. Alright, coming in for my landing approach. Let's toggle the brakes. Let's try to straighten up and get onto the runway this time. Come on. Uh oh. A little bit too high. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> that went so much smoother than I expected. Alright, now let's find something else to do because I know that I've cut all this down to about, I don't know, maybe five minutes? I actually don't know. <laughs> but anyways, so, let's find something else. Okay, well I found something that seems kind of interesting. The Kerbal Space Center Shoreline Tour. So basically, what I'm supposed to do is 
take a vessel out onto the water and then drive it through the water from one waypoint to another be it either or a boat or a seaplane and then just bring it back on land and that'll be it so you know what that's interesting I'm gonna make an amphibious vehicle not a um, plane but maybe a boat so I'm gonna get started on that and you guys just sit back and do what you do I guess <laughs> You know, I was about to say that I forgot to um, load my passengers, but it's got it for me. Me brakes. Let me get rid of that display. And that one we don't need either. My craft must have an engineer. Oh no. Hang on, I gotta restart. All right, so I think we're ready this time. So we don't want the throttle to be very high. And we want to take the brakes off. We just need to get those wheels moving so I can get down to the shoreline. Probably no more than 20 meters per second. Actually, let's get it up to 30 SSS on. It's the most peculiar vehicle. Jeez, let's get off of the runway. The grass over here is a lot smoother. All right, and let's go to the map and get our first marker. Don't 
hit the boat. It's almost shameful how uneven their runway is. Turn that steering off. Once we're ready to launch the boat, which shouldn't take too much longer now. I said not going to take too much longer now. Yes. Okay, fine. It's going to take forever. Alright, and... Oh no. Does this have gimbling? I might need a rudder. Okay, wow, I actually got it. Now let's go towards the next target. It might have gimbling. I might be in luck there. Nope, doesn't have gimbling. I'm just lucky. Alright, so next time I need to install a rudder to make sure that I can turn. Otherwise, this works great. Let's crank it all the way up to 100. <laughs> it's just ridiculous that I thought that a jet would do a good job at pushing a, a boat. I guess it does do a good job, but... Alright, now all I have to do is beach the boat safely. Without destroying my craft or killing anyone. Oh, man. So if I ever have to make another version of this I need to make it um, have a rudder make it a little bit more user friendly Come on! No, 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 no! Okay, we'll call it safely. Two thumbs up. That was awesome. <laughs> so, now what's next? Fly a space plane to the edge of space. Okay. 
I'll have to make sure I have the parts for this one, but yeah, I can probably do that. Let's leave facility and actually see if we do have the parts. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to end it after that little, um, tour bus bit. I believe that was the last bit that I, or the last clip that I did. Um, I don't have the parts or the you know, available number of parts from the space plane hangar in order to upgrade the vessel. Or not upgrade the vessel, but in order to reach the 60k meter. So I'm going to cut it here, do some grinding off camera, and in the next episode, we're more than likely going to be able to make it. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping here. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe for all of my video updates. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good...